Good afternoon. I'm sure the leader will not like this, but I would like to take a moment to thank him and his leadership. I know he's not going anywhere for a while, but uh, we learned this from the last time we saw each other. I also know, Mr. Leader, that you and Elaine have been going through a tough time, and you have our thoughts with you always as you're navigating this. We think about you daily. Um, but even in the midst of his personal challenges, he's remained a strong leader that has stuck by his conservative principles. And as his next door neighbor in West Virginia, there is no better friend of Cole than Mitch McConnell. And I thank you for that. And always, he named his book The Long Game. Why is that? Because he always looks at the long game. But the one thing he has exceedingly uh, led us through and I think will have a legacy through this country is his respect for the rule of law and the judicial system. As we saw on Monday, we saw the unanimous decision by the Supreme Court to allow President Trump to remain on the ballot in Colorado, and they voted last night. Of course, who chooses who's going to be on the ballot? The people. Who chooses who's going to be the leader? The people. Not activists, not office holders who don't like a particular candidate during one season or the other, but the voters and the Supreme Court voted nine to nothing to back up that principle. One of the principles the leader has served his entire service in, uh, in respecting and the one we as voters in America should respect as well.